Who are you? Hi, I'm Max. Who? Max. I'm the future. Well, can you tell me Max of the future? The future is coming fast, and it's going to be great. Why, Max? Exactly. What? Why, Max? No wires. on the worst day in the stock market. You know, but one of the great things about America is it regenerates itself. And we have just provided the foundation of a new wireless internet experience where I know American innovation is going to explode. So I'm proud to be part of that. This is the dawn of 4G. But some folks in this room kicked off an effort to come up with a new standard, the uh, big sister, so to speak, of Wi-Fi. And at the end of 2005, uh, the, form, the uh, standards was, were agreed, and today shows it is ready. So what do we have here? After 10 to 15 years of America really tending to trail in new communications technologies, this is now uh, a chance for the US to lead. Imagine kind of driving in your car. I can't, I got, you know, I've got two kids, but if, uh, if I had three and you had three in the back seat simultaneously downloading a movie to three different devices, to a PC, to a television, and to a mobile phone all at once. That's what 4G is all about. Um, what customers want is they want whatever it is. It's communication, information, entertainment. They want it right now, which is a combination of not only very fast speeds, but they don't want to have to wait till they get home or to the office to get it. So it's basically ubiquitous speeds, and nothing will bring the now network of life like like 4G. So this was an interesting press conference where there wasn't very much said. It was very congratulatory. It's now going to be, can they get WiMAX out? Is there really enough money to put it all together? Is there interest everywhere around the world to do it? Or are other standards like LTE really, really, really going to bite into it? We're going to see Who's going to win out? It's sort of like Betamax and VHS. It's going to take some time to see who wins, but it'll be very interesting. I'm not afraid of you, Max. You will be. 